Okay, <clears throat> welcome to my first uh, tutorial for matplotlib, um, which is a package basically for Python, uh, which you can use for data visualization and data analysis. So um, I'm, I'm not using it uh, so much uh, myself because uh, most of the time I'm programming in a C++ and then I'm also using root, uh, which you can also use with, use with Python, by the way, as I have shown in one of my root tutorials with the package uh, pyroot. Nevertheless, um, uh, if you want to use something which comes natively with Python, then I think uh, matplotlib is a good alternative and um, it's it's easy to use. Nevertheless, uh, I, I would say that uh, it needs a little bit time to understand the, the fundamental basics. So this is the reason why I decided to make this tutorial series now. And um, in the first part, um, I, uh, yeah, or in this tutorial, we want to create a first graph to see how it works. But before we can do that, of course, we have to make sure that uh, Python and also matplotlib are both installed. And this we can find out uh, uh, if you use uh, Linux, it's very simple. You can just open a terminal and you can write in, uh, type in Python 3. Uh, and we will stick now to Python 3 since I think this is now state of the art and uh, Python 2 is 2 point something is I think also not supported anymore. So Python 3 is uh, the best option. And if this output is shown, then it means Python is installed uh, properly on your system. I don't have so much experience, by the way, to install it uh, in, in Windows. I heard that it's not so difficult. It's basically very simple to do that. Nevertheless, uh, I cannot give any recommendation how to do that at the moment. Um, maybe later I can also take a look at that. But for the time being, we will stick now to uh, Linux. And um, as I said, Python 3, when this is shown, then everything works uh, well. And uh, now you can try to type in import matplotlib. And if this does not give you any error message, then it means uh, all the packages are installed correctly. If an error message is coming, like matplotlib cannot be found, for example, then you have to install it. And uh, for that purpose, um, you can either, uh, if you use a um, Debian or Ubuntu-based system, like I'm using Linux Mint, for example, you can use uh, the Debian package manager in order to install that. So what you can write here, uh, sudo apt, install Python 3 if you have not installed it so far for, for the installation of Python 3 and Python 3 uh, matplotlib and uh, when you do that installation then uh, both packages are installed and you can use uh, Python and matplotlib. Nevertheless, for me, it was installed already, so it will not install anything. Uh, and But I think you, you can imagine how the output will look like then. Um, if, if you don't have a Debian-based uh, system and you still want to install it, either I think uh, you can maybe download it manually or you can use the Python install manager for packages. And uh, this could be done, for example, by just typing uh, pip3 install and then uh, matplotlib. And when you do that, then it should start the installation. I can do this. Uh, and as you can see, it starts the installation. However, I will interrupt it now because uh, it would create maybe some uh, confusion in my system if I'm installing it locally, another package. Uh, I think you can also do that with sudo and then it will install it globally. But um, I, I, I prefer basically to install these packages then locally so you can, um, you can use them uh, uh, and you can re uh, uninstall them also easier. Uh, nevertheless, uh, I'm I'm usually trying to install everything via the built-in package manager, so it's it's more convenient, I think. Okay, um, <clears throat> so now we have made sure that everything is installed correctly, so we can start now with our first tutorial. And for that, I will create a new directory which I call maybe Python. Yeah, which is also not existing until now. And then I will create here inside this inside this folder, I will create a new file. Let's call it tutorial1.python. Okay, um, yeah, and then uh, the only thing which we have to do, as I said, we have to import uh, matplot, uh, matplotlib. And uh, what we need from that is uh, 
is PyPlot. Yeah, this is the uh, basically um, yeah the thing which we use later for uh, for plotting. And uh, in order not to write it all the time complete, we can write it as PLT. So then later we can uh, just use this uh, abbreviation for uh, accessing uh, PyPlot. Okay. Um, and now uh, de definitely we have to define first something which we want to plot. So um, we can just define two arrays for the time being uh, as an easy case. So we can write, <clears throat> or basically these are lists, not arrays. So we can write one, two, three, four, five, for example, for X. And then we can create another one, which we call then maybe uh, Y and write here one, four, nine, 16, 25. So as you can see, we have just created a, a quadratic dependency now of X and Y. So, uh, and now in the next step, um, the only thing which we have to do in order to create our graph, this is the easiest way how to do that, is just to write PLT, plot, and then X, Y. More in principle, you don't have to do. Um, and we try this one time and it doesn't give an error message, but it also doesn't show anything. So we have to tell Python explicitly that we want to show it now. So we have to write PLT show and then it creates here this very nice figure. And you can also uh, change the size of this figure. You can uh, configure some things uh, like the left border, right border, and so on. Then you can also change some spaces of which I also don't know exactly what it's doing. Um, and uh, yeah, zooming is of course also possible. Um, you can, uh, I think here you can shift the axis correctly from up uh, yeah, the, the X axis and Y axis. Um, okay, you can also add several plots, I think, and um, reset original view. You can also do, then it goes back to the original view and um, you can also save the figure. Um, <clears throat> however, when you create a, a bunch of figures, not only one, but maybe uh, 10, then it's instead of looking all of them in Python directly, what I normally do, I, I don't show them directly, but I write here a uh, PLT, uh, say fig and then uh, <clears throat> for example okay let's call it tutorial one dot png and then uh, when i start this it doesn't show any output but as you can see here it creates a new file uh, <clears throat> tutorial one dot png and then it's saved automatically uh, later i will also show how to change the um, the label size and all that but uh, maybe uh, there will be a few videos in this short uh, tutorial series available. Uh, I will also then later explain how to create, for example, histograms, how to show <clears throat> images uh, for using maybe two dimensional histograms and so on. Uh, there are many, many options uh, which you can, uh, which you can have with that. So PLT <clears throat> show. Okay. For the time being, we can also do both basically. Uh, so it will create a PNG file and also show the graph. Uh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> this is, as I said, the, uh, one way how to do it. Another way is, um, for example, if you want to change the figure size, you can write here, uh, fig plt figure. So you basically create a, a canvas manually, you can say, uh, similar to canvas in root, I guess. Um, and then uh, you can here use that parameter fig size and you can uh, tell then uh, matplotlib uh, how many um, units in X and Y direction the figure size should be. So you can write, for example, fig size seven, nine. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, we can try this one time only to see what happens. And you see now uh, we are going nine units in Y direction, seven in X direction. So the picture is, uh, yeah, the scale of the different axes uh, changes by that. Okay. <clears throat> So um, I think this is uh, this is in principle uh, everything. What we can also uh, do very simple here after we have uh, defined the uh, plot, we can we can maybe give some label names. For example, x and um, y. So we get now the axes for uh, the, the labels for the x and y axis. And maybe we can also give another title for the plot. So we can write PLT title and we just call it maybe test graph. 
and now we run it and you can see here the labels are there test graph is written here so <clears throat> this is usually why i'm showing this is because normally i use um, the figure size in order to control the size of the labels yeah when you make the figure quite small <clears throat> for example three two and you run your code then you see that uh Compared to the size of the graph, the one has to adjust uh, the, the the borders a little bit. This I will tell maybe in uh, one of the next videos how to do. But you can see that the uh, sizes of the labels are changing. <clears throat> now they are quite big compared to the graph. And when you do that, and maybe you can even uh, export it as a PDF in order not to lose resolution. And then you have a look at that um, <clears throat> output file. So you write uh, basically um, tutorial1.pdf. Then you can see you can enlarge the figure and the labels are quite big. And uh, this is maybe a good possibility to make uh, the figure readable in, if you want to use it in a publication, for example. But nevertheless, uh, I think something like 6.5 is maybe a good uh, option which you can use for that. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, what I want to show uh, now in this uh, in this short video. And as I said, next time I will go a little bit more into detail what you can do, maybe plotting some functions, uh, creating some histograms and so on. So I hope you stay tuned. If you like it, uh, please, uh, please subscribe the channel as usual. And um, yeah, hopefully see you soon.